All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Zombieland Saga Episode 6. Uh, in the last episode, it was a bit of a wacky one. Uh, first off, we started with the kind of commercial kind of advertisement for the chicken chain stores. I don't know. Uh, very funny, uh, but it, yeah, very weird. Uh, and then we went on to the kind of obstacle kind of local town or area saga uh, day to where they were competing in like mud obstacles or whatever. Um, again, just to kind of get, get some notice to the group. Didn't end up going well because they didn't really advertise the group at all. Uh, but then it ended off with two reporter-looking reporter types. More specifically, one of them recognizing Junko, I believe. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see where what, what, what is going to develop from that. But yeah, as always, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, look at them working hard. Let's go. Bro, their schedules are fucking booked. Jesus. Oh, is she re remembering who she is? It's just little glimpses, though. She's not getting the full memory back. Bro, this fucking guy. Oh, is this something they're not allowed to do, I'm guessing? I am never looking at it again. <laughs> it did look pretty trash. No, that's not shampoo dye. I wonder why all these idol events aren't being... Like, he's not booking them for these events. There must be a specific reason. He's going to walk in at some point, and they're all going to book it. I suppose. I mean, he's probably taking it slow for this specific reason, but... Yeah, I've heard that too, actually, in regards to idols. I and Frill? Oh, shit, so they're still together after, like... All these years. No, that's soy sauce. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Why does he have to open with some bullshit every time? Just a little bit of chat. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're, you're trash, bro. I was going to say, he's going to overreact like this. Pinocchio ass zombie, yeah. Interacting? Okay, then let them have social media. What time period is she from? Is she like the 90s or something? Merchandise, yeah, we need to get some new designs, bro. Yeah, she don't have a goddamn clue. What the fuck is a camera? Oh, she, they got an alright turnout. But the question is, who are, like, actual fans of them, though? Oh, I hope they don't, I hope they don't have any creepy fans. Oh, even a little kid? That's cute. <laughs> Bro, that's the only noise she can make. Okay, they've got some other designs apart from the trash-ass fucking rainbow one. Oh, the towels, not shirts. Okay. Oh, what? So they're, they're specifically asking for certain idols to take photos with. I hope, it, I hope nobody's going to be left out. I bet one of the... Uh, I bet the reporter guy wants to have a picture of her. I might want to speak to her. Oh, look at you, Giddy. Up on, like, the stage. This guy's not very good with his words. He just like me, for real. What was wrong with it? You were just taking photos of people. I don't really see a problem with this, to be honest. Like, you're you're a small idol group so far. So you gotta do what you gotta do to earn fans. Above it all pride. That's what I'm saying. This is kind of a trashy attitude to have on the situation. She's definitely come from a different kind of idol time period. And I mean, from what I've learned from anime... Even big idols do meetups and photo ops and stuff like that, so still, it's kind of weird of her. Surely they can't, like, meet with her previous idol group, though. Like, she's supposed to be dead. I I agree with her, 
and it's annoying that sometimes even though you're giving a correct i mean it's an opinion but it's it's correct like you just have to grin and bear it and accept that you were both wrong a big jump from sakura and she misses and her head's gonna fall off or something nope she's gonna lose all the makeup all of her makeups came off for god's sake Oh, okay. She's from a very earlier generation, actually. This is more like 40s, 50s, maybe. Oh, and this is how you died? Damn. I always loved it when I was a kid, being out in the rain in just random places like this. Just taking shelter. Oh, really? She was struck by light. Was it on stage? Oh my god. Bro, that's so fucked up. Bro. That is messed up. I really don't know how this is going to work. Once they get famous, people are going to recognize her. It's interesting to see that we're starting to see everybody's cause of death. Like plane crash. Struck by lightning, you know. I've said it already, but Saki's definitely my favorite so far. Honest to God, if I had to wake up every morning and hear this fucking guy, I'd just climb back into my grave. This is going to be a big deal for them. That's really bad, having her and Junko up front for this. She's going to get recognized. Alright, so that was Zombieland Saga Episode 6. Um, bit of a disagreement and argument there between Junko and I. Uh, interesting to see how they both died. Wow, kind of uh, very very dramatic deaths. It, with Junko being from what I can only assume is the 40s, 50s, solely going off of how they were dressed and the TV as well. Um, that's that's interesting. It's uh, She clearly does not know anything about the present and how it was for an idol back then is clearly very different to how it is now. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what's going to happen here with, uh, with I especially. Junko may be able to get away with it even though she was famous for her time. Uh, with it being like 70 odd years ago, 70, 80. Um, so she may be able to get away with it because all her fans are probably dead. But um, yeah, the with, uh, with I really don't know what's going to happen with I here. And it's, it's obviously very scary for her as well, um, being out on stage in front of everyone again. But yeah, I guess I'll just see how it goes. Very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. As always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.